five years in jail if you are to keep these. But so we're gonna get rid of these. Mom and dad are massive. But we're gonna let these traps sit for another 24 hours. Ton of these colorful little cichlids in here. Look at that. He's got red, blue, yellow. Beautiful cichlid, guys. I don't, I have no clue what these things are. I've never seen them before in my life. Welcome back to Rob's Quads, guys. In today's video, we're going to be setting a fish trap. Well, actually three fish traps at this location right by this spillway for a whole 24 hours so it's gonna sit overnight and into the next day so we got three fish traps right here the reason why i stopped by this canal and this spillway specifically is because it looks very promising although the issue i'm going to run into here is it's pretty deep water and while we were scoping out the spot we did see a lot of cool fish snakeheads peas a lot of the invasive but cooler exotic. So I'm kind of curious to see what kind of fish we could pull up from here. I'm going to set this trap right down here. I absolutely loaded these things with cat food since I'm going to be setting them for such a long time. And I'm going to set this one trap. What was it? Hopefully that wasn't my phone. But I'm going to be setting this one trap right here. Oh, got my shoe a little wet. And I'm going to try to anchor a lot of them down on these rocks. Try to make sure they don't get away from us so we'll see how this one does right here we'll go set off these two traps further down the canal where we saw some other exotics the peas and stuff are all spawning so there's a chance we could catch some peacock bass as well by the spillway you just gotta muck around and find that out. now where was that snake head actually i'm gonna set another fish trap right here i'm looking just for a rock actually i'm gonna set it over here look that's a peacock bass right there peacock bass where oh no that's a mine <laughs> yeah that's a mine right there but like i was saying guys this water here looks awesome it's full of fish i mean even the smaller species you could see them jumping about all over the place so we're gonna set this next trap right here on this rock ledge see what comes up i don't want them getting too deep on us but if they do they do and i'm just hoping gators don't roll through here and snatch them or something crazy or like a turtle that would suck too but i'm gonna just wrap it around this rock a couple times just like that and set this rock right here actually I'll just keep it wedged right where it was because I really don't want people to walk by here either and see my fish trap. Also, there's a chance a raccoon pulls them. We did see a raccoon in one of the garbage cans over here. Next trap we're going to set is going to be near where we found a pair of snakeheads because I'm trying to remove them from the waterways as best I can. Anytime I get a chance to, I do it. Let's see. Oh, mine down there. Oh, the up. You see that cloud of smoke right there? That's exactly where the snakehead babies are. Now, before I set the trap, let's see if we could see them. You see all these little fry down here? It's going to be hard for you guys to see them with the zoom, but those are all baby snakeheads. But all these little fish you see dancing right here are actually snakeheads. Now, I do have a little net we could use to try to net up these baby snakeheads real quick. But first, I'm going to try to set a trap. I can't say I've ever trapped baby snakeheads this small, but regardless, we're still going to try. I mean, there's a chance we actually get the parents too. They try to remove my fish trap. Look, they're already going in the trap. Oh, yeah, just by accident, we're going to catch a lot. Oh, they actually are really interested in the cat food. This is quite interesting. Where's mom? There they are. Oh my God. Mom and dad are massive. We might try to come back and catch these guys too in the morning. Right now it's super late, but yeah, these snakeheads are actually super interested in the trap. If I just, oh, oh, one yep, in one in there, two in there. Oh, this might work really well. I'm going to try to rotate it so they it faces the rest of the spawn a little bit better. That's crazy. The amount of snakeheads right here is insane. But I hate to break it to you guys. Uh, if we do catch all these snakeheads, they will be euthanized. Real quick, I'm going to grab a net and net some up right now just to show you guys them up close. But let me see if I could anchor this somewhere so that if mom and dad attack the fish trap, because it's a possibility they do do that. I don't want the trap to get pulled out although realistically if they bite it full strength oh there's a lot of plecko holes right here too hopefully i don't get tagged by a snake low-key but that should be fine all right well we'll let this little snakehead trap sit look at the parents they're huge like those are actually they're 10 pound snakeheads right yeah you see them those are actually like 10 pounders they're easily 30 inches 36 maybe they are massive breeders look there's already some in there <laughs> yeah there are some in there but we're gonna let these traps sit for another 24 hours guys by that point we should catch a ton of snake heads and who knows what else so i'm gonna actually pick up my little dip net take a few nets it's late really late and we got to take little brooklyn to school in the morning in seven hours so <laughs> we're gonna be a little bit quick netting right now but tomorrow after we get my shipments out we'll come back and check the trap just out in the wilderness 
with my girlfriend, but we've got two netting options, right? We got the little net that I think we could catch some baby snakeheads with. Actually, we could definitely catch some baby snakeheads with. And then we also have my super long dip net with these pretty fine holes, probably six foot of reach that we could use to catch some other stuff if we come across it. Maybe even the parents, although a snakehead that size could actually just bolt straight through this net, to be honest with you. But we're gonna find them again, look at the creek and see if we could find anything. Are the parents back yet? I'm curious to see how they interact with the fish trap. Yeah, they're right down there. Damn, those things are big, but look. Let's see. Let's see, a bunch of little babies. Right, just like that, look. And I just caught, how many snakeheads do we think? Look at these, you see them? They look just like pike cichlids, these baby snakeheads. They're tiny, tiny little fellers. Now we cannot keep these. These are a felony, 10K fine, and up to five years in jail if you are to keep these, but so we're gonna get rid of these. Yeah, we're gonna dump them in the grass. I'll see if I could catch a couple more because there's probably a couple hundred, maybe even a thousand in this spawn right here. Yep, yep, look at that. Look how many little snakeheads there are. Beautiful fish, but I mean, they're super illegal just to even mess with. So we're gonna just get them in the grass safely, humanely, euthanized, and low key. Maybe we could feed them to some fish. No, you're not allowed to keep them by any means. True, true. But aren't they really cute at this size? They have a really nice little black line on them. So I'm just gonna dump them out in the grass. So now it's the next day, guys. And before we check the fish traps, I'm gonna rig something up that we could probably catch a pee on because the thing is with the peacock bass, when they're bedded, any fish that's bedded, you basically just have to rig something that's gonna piss them off and make them wanna move it. So we got this little rod right here, courtesy camera girl. Looks like it's got a little bit of braid on it. Don't even matter because Pretty much all we got to do, I think with, I haven't fished these guys before, so I don't actually know. Some of them are smarter than others, but for the most part, as long as you piss them off, they're going to chew. So I'm going to get this rigged up with a blue crawl lead weight in the front. So it drops right on front of them and just a regular little hook and it should be enough. So there's two beds that we saw. So I'm going to fish one, camera girl's gonna fish the other. If this goes how I'm thinking it's gonna go, it's gonna be light work. So this is the rig we're gonna go with today right now, guys. It's just a little crawl with a little bullet weight at the top. I tried to rig it so that the hook's sticking out a little bit extra because for the most part, they're gonna pick up this back end and just try to move it. Unless we really piss them off, then they're gonna strike it. So we'll come over here. Luckily for us, the weed line actually is pushed back, so we'll be able to get a cleaner shot at these peas. Oh, I see some back there. Just pitch it out. I can't really see them. We're basically just gonna try to find the bed and just drop it right on their head. It's my fish trap. Okay, my fish trap's still here too. They ran off. Cats in the middle. Cats in the middle? Yeah, might as well. Cower bungamer, dude. Actually, cast really far. Do you know what pound test this line is? Uh, I think 25. 25? Come on, Bubba. Come on, Bubba. Come on, Bubba. I'm right here. Come on, Bubba. Oh, he sees it. I need to keep it right on his bed. It's just not flashy enough, I don't think. He's intrigued. He's mad. Yeah, we could definitely come back and fish these guys, but for right now, we gotta check the traps. Oh, oh he struck at it. Oh, he struck at it. Oh, he struck at it. See what I mean though? He's only picking up the back end of it because uh, his goal is only to move it off the bed. He's not trying to eat, really. He's just trying to get it out of his face. I've grabbed my net in a bucket full of clean water right here. I brought it from the house just in the event we did catch something, but I'm gonna put the net to the side and we're just gonna come down here. See what kind of fish, small, oh look, huge pea lurking by the trap. I don't like that. Where were you like a couple minutes ago, buddy? Oh, look at that. There's a ton of these colorful little cichlids in here. They got stripes like those, uh, there's a species of tilapia called butacophori. But let's see here. We got our first fish trap right here. Super colorful little fish in this trap. And that's basically all there is in this one right here. Look at these guys. Beautiful little cichlids right here. I, ooh. And I, ooh. <laughs> I don't know what species this is. Some of these are large enough. Like if I didn't know what pe baby peacock bass looked like, I would have thought this was a baby pea right here. They look just like them, but I don't think they are. Pe peacock bass don't get that red belly on them. So I got a few more. I don't even know how many were actually in this trap itself, but I got two right there, maybe even three. I got another couple right down here. We'll just grab out some beautiful 
little cichlids right here. Couple more. One, two. I see a mosquito fish in here as well, but this trap was just dominated by these cichlids right here. I mean, it makes sense. We put it right by that one rock wall. Yeah, a little baby killifish fight. Frigate, we'll put them in there. And then I see another one of these cichlids. So before we... Oh, yep, there's three more of them in here. If you guys know what species this is, definitely let me know. I've never seen them before, so I'm not really too sure what these guys are, but they're really pretty. Little cichlids, they look a lot like tilapia, but I've never seen them before. We got three more in the back of this trap, and we got two more traps to check, so we'll see. I got all three of them right there. I think there's one more left in here. Or no, I think I got them all. Let me just double triple check. Yeah, I think that's all the cichlids out of this trap. So that's pretty cool I'm just gonna leave the trap to the side. We'll pick up our bucket. I think right there guys We must have caught like 15 of these cichlids. I don't know what they are We got that killifish in there too. The Sun's actually coming out to a point where peacock bass are way easier to spot That one little dude was definitely fight. Look, there's one right, there's here. One right here. I was annoying him. Yeah See, we're gonna definitely come back out here and fish them again. I just need to put, oh look, two more. Two more peas. They're everywhere. Yeah, they're, they, oh, another pea. Oh my God. This canal is also loaded with peacock bass. Damn, that's crazy. And then that's the little guy that we almost got to eat down there. Yeah, the glare is bad. We almost got him too, but he's actually sitting right next to our next fish trap right here. Let's see. We left the one with the snakeheads overnight, a little bit further down the canal, so. Oh my god. So it, sometimes it blows my mind how some of these fish manage to find their way in my trap. Like how did this big ass mine cichlid get in here? Very pretty. Yeah, they are pretty cool. But he's like gronk spiking all the rest of the cichlids. But like we get big turtles in here too. Oh my trap just rolled back in the water. That's not cool. But this trap, there's a different species of cichlid in here. There's a bunch of jewels in here. Nothing too crazy. We're actually going to keep all these jewels as well. They're very popular with you guys on the site. I always end up having two little jewels to sell <laughs> to you guys. But we're going to keep these guys right here. See what else is in this trap. Just a bunch of jewels. Some killifish as well. A lot of the normal like smaller invasives in this one. I think that mine cichlid might have eaten the other ones to be honest. Because there's none of the really cool little guys in here. But we'll leave this trap Right here, I'll just dump all that back in the water. And now we got our next trap. We set over by the snake heads. That will see if there's anybody running around. It's actually, what's up? Wildflowers. Oh, wildflowers. Let's see, any more peas? I see some mollies down here too. But this canal is pretty, pretty cool. Definitely come out here with the girls and go peacock bass fishing. Whether or not we catch one in today's video, I don't know guys, we got. Yeah, Brooklyn would love this though. Let's see here. Got another fish trap. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wow, one of these guys looks crazy in here. Look at them. Oh, you could see him through the trap. Look at that. He's got red, blue, yellow. Beautiful cichlid, guys. I don't, I have no clue what these things are. I've never seen them before in my life. They just happen to be rolling around in this canal. <laughs> And we got these right here. There's a lot of rock croppings for these guys to hide in. So I'm sure that's how the peas don't get them. But we'll try to find a lure like these guys to catch with. Because look at the color on them. Beautiful. Beautiful fish right here. We got another one right down here. Gorgeous. And look like this. Look at this. Just a huge handful full of fish. <laughs> some jewels. Some of these really cool exotics as well that I haven't seen yet. Oh, one of them jumped out. But we're going to actually keep all those fish right there. And oh my god. <laughs> some of these are just gorgeous. This is a male. You see that? Oh, these must be an African cichlid. Only African cichlids I've noticed get that orange dot anal fin to signify they're a male. I haven't seen any other fish do that. But we got a couple more back here at the end. Oh, oh my god. Bunch of fish. We're definitely keeping all the jewels and all these cichlids right here. Oh, we got a few more. Oh, we got a good amount more actually. Let's get them. Let's get them all. Two more jewel and a cichlid. Boom, boom. Two more cichlids. Let's see. Another one. And I think there's yeah, only... Sit this way. Take all the fish to the middle. Yeah, I will. Only a couple more of these guys. And I see a couple more killifish in here. I think I'm good on those, but I think just the last fish right here is one of these cichlids right here. Beautiful, beautiful fish. And I think that is everybody. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna run back to the house with all the traps, make sure they're cleared out, and then set them down in the pond in the back of Camera Girl's house and get them. 
get them in the pond to bring back to the house. And so now guys, we're now back at my house with all the cichlids we caught in those fish traps. And I just real quick moved the sponge over from their tank into this bucket that I was transporting them in. So we got all the cichlids in here. I'm gonna dump them out into a net to add into their tank with the yellow lab cichlids and OB peacocks we caught in another video. And so we now have this whole mess of cichlids right here that we're just gonna add into this tank. They should do just fine. I see a couple dead little mosquito fish that we got from the fish trap. But as far as the cichlids go, everything for the most part's looking pretty good. There are a few jewel cichlids in there right now as well. So we're gonna let this, them chill for a day. I'm gonna do a water change on them very shortly. And then we're gonna get them fed and see how they do. And so now it's the next day and we're going to do a feeding of those cichlids we just caught. I did some research last night and I believe they are red cheek trophies. They're an African cichlid species. At least that's what I believe they are. And I also made some more progress on the fish tank stand guys. So I'm gonna put the betta fish in this tank right here. My two other 40 gallons with the plecos and the rip saws on this side, another one right there. And then I'm actually gonna push this all the way back against that screen. Put my other two 40 gallons on the front end right here. Here. In this top row, I'm going to put a bunch of 10 gallons so that I can fit like seven 10 gallons so it'll make the most of the space. Four to six 40 gallons, seven 10 gallons should be A-OK. -okay. And I'm about to do my water change, so I'm gonna do one last feeding these guys. I've already fed them two times off camera, but I'll just feed them again because I'm about to water change. So the OB peacocks are in here with them. Right, we got the yellow lab, OB peacocks, the tank's so a little dirty. You can see I've been feeding crazy. I feed very heavy guys. But we'll drop all that in. Gee, that's a lot of food. That's a lot of food. I did not mean to put that much food in there, but they seem like they're full. I literally just wasted so much fish food. But either way, this is also the first time I've stood right in front of the tank when I'm feeding them. And you can see they are definitely eating. They look really good. So I'm gonna try to grow these guys out. In the meantime, they are available on my site, robsaquatics.shop. I'll get them listed up there for you guys, but I'm gonna keep feeding them heavy. I'm gonna give them about 10 minutes to eat that because that's a lot of food, to be real. And then I'll do a water change and it should be all good. But I'm gonna get out of their way. You can see the OB peacocks right here eating some too but I'll get out of their way so that they can enjoy their food. And since we're back here, I might as well feed the 120 gallon cichlid aquarium with all the rest of the catches we've gotten here. Now, I noticed something interesting with these guys. You see that male cichlid right there? He dug out that hole, so I think they're actually starting to mate and breed in this tank. You can see that fire mouth cichlid, oh my God. He's fired up, everybody's fired up, but they know what time it is. It's ready to eat. Oh my God. Look at that rock crebences, guys. See, this is why I wanna start breeding instead of some individual 10 gallons. So I could grow out some fry from these guys. We got that rock crebences right here. You just saw that Eastern Happy Cichlid throw right by again. Most of these are available. Um, some of them aren't, but I could always try to breed these guys out. So in the future, I could get a lot of African cichlids to your door, but we're gonna feed again. I'm hoping, honestly, that the Asian red tail doesn't eat because they're already so fat. But the cichlid tanks, these two are getting water changes. So. Heavy feeding for these guys right now. All the rock rebenses are looking incredible. Absolutely love those. The pocket are growing huge. We got some green and blue Texas in here. And everybody's doing pretty good, pretty good. So I'm gonna let them finish up all that food. And that is it for today's video, guys. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications if you did enjoy. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget, check out robsaquatics.shop. I got a lot of fish listed there. Cheaper than you could get at retail at your local fish store. And also, good shipping rates, you feel me? So I'm really trying to hook it up for you guys, but that is it for today's video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.